So how to multiply with trailing zeros? So before we do this, let's define what is a trailing zero. Well, a trailing zero is a zero that occurs at the end of a number. And it can't be interrupted by another non-zero number. So for example, let's say you have something like 310,000. Okay, well, this is a trailing zero, this is a trailing zero, this is a trailing zero, and this is a trailing zero. All these zeros occur at the end of the number and they're not interrupted by a non-zero digit. But let's say I had something like that number right there. This obviously isn't a trailing zero, and this obviously wouldn't be a trailing zero either. So the zeros have to come at the end of the number, and they can't be interrupted by a non-zero digit. Okay, so that's, that's the main point of this. Okay, so when you multiply with trailing zeros, the first step is to count the total number of trailing zeros between all of the factors. Okay, so just go through and count how many you have. Step number two, you want to delete all trailing zeros and multiply the newly formed numbers. And then step three, you attach the number of zeros counted in step one to the right of the product in step two. So at first when you do this, you'll have to write down each step and go through it. But I think after maybe 10 or 15 examples, you'll be able to do it in your head. This really makes multiplication pretty easy. So let's go through and look at two quick examples. Okay, for example two, the objective is to find each product. And then for part one here, we have 500,000 times 250. All right, so this is a perfect example of where this would save you some time. If you wanted to set this up in vertical multiplication format, you gotta go through and write all this out and then zero times zero, I mean, just going through all that stuff, it's very tedious. So if you use the procedure that I just gave you, you would start out step one, count the total number of trailing zeros between the factors. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six trailing zeros. Okay, so I abbreviate that T period, Z period. Then step number two, delete the trailing zeros and multiply the newly formed numbers. So I'm just gonna delete these zeros here and then we would end up with 25 times five, right? These would be the newly formed numbers. Just the numbers that are formed when you get rid of the zeros. So it's 25 times five. Well, a lot of you know that off the top of your head that's 125. And then step three, you just take this number here that you got in step two, and you attach to the right of that the total number of trailing zeros you counted in step one. So we're just gonna put six trailing zeros behind five. One, two, three, four, five, six, and it's that simple, right? It's literally that simple. So if you wanna take a calculator out and just punch that up, you can see that that answer's correct. But you see how, how much quicker that would be. And after you do enough examples of this, you won't even need to write this down. You'll literally just be able to eyeball it and say, okay, 5 times 25 is 125, and then I'm just gonna put six zeros at the end of it. You'll be done in like less than five seconds. All right, so let's move on and look at part two of this example. All right, for part two, we have 205,000 times 300. Okay, so this one's a little bit tougher because 205 times three, a lot of you probably won't be able to do that in your head yet. But as we move on, you will be able to. All right, so we'll start out by counting the total number of trailing zeros. So we have one, two, three, four, five. So five trailing zeros. Then the next step is to delete the trailing zeros and multiply the newly formed numbers. So you would have 205 times three. So how can we do 205 times three really quick? Well, what I can do is I can break this number 205 down to 200 plus five. And you're gonna learn later on that there's this property called the distributive property that allows us to multiply three times 205 by breaking this down into three times 200 plus three times five. Three times 200 is easy to do because of the trick that we're doing right now. That's three times two, which is six, and just put two zeros at the end. So that's 600 and then plus three times five, which is 15, so that's 615. And if you're not comfortable with doing that yet, just go through and multiply it with vertical multiplication, right? Just do 205 times three. But, I mean, you're gonna get the same answer either way. Three times five is 15, three times zero is zero plus one is one, three times two is six. 
So then for step three, I take this answer here, 615, and I just simply put five trailing zeros to the right of five. One, two, three, four, five, comma, comma, 61,500,000 is the answer.